Res problems already solved. Macroeconomic due diligence. Error one. In GDP accounting, total sales are not equal to GDP, as one only counts the final goods, services and products produced, not the parts used to produce them. This is solved by the David A. Moss cash flow to GDP variable, DMCV, which is found as AI211 on the third or fourth tab on both spreadsheets. The Siena equilibrium. Tab one, two, three, four. And we go down, crunching this data. Then we go across, more data. Till we get to 211. And then we go across. And at the end, we see this figure here, 66.163. Error two, usually if a country with its own currency, like Malawi, were to increase output, GDP, by say 500%, then its currency would decrease by the same amount. This is solved by working in US dollars, not local currencies. Error three, the high efficiency score from 85% to 100% would see the Monopolies Commission investigate and antitrust laws enacted as to have an efficiency of 100% is to create a 100% monopoly. This could be solved potentially by working in countries like Malawi with low GDP and no plan to improve. Given the forecast shows that an increase of GDP by shows an increase in GDP by a factor of five by 2024 and tax spending about the same increasing to a factor of 106 come 2039. Given that most Malawians live in abject poverty, earning less than $500 a year. Yes, I said a year and most do not have access to electricity, education or basic health care, it's well worth some exceptions be made to antitrust laws, and let's face it, most people have never heard of them, if in return the entire country benefits financially, philanthropically and ecologically. See, M System 2, Ripple Effects and Elephants. Plan B, the money multiplier. If for whatever reason we can't use res as presented, then we... The next best thing to use is the money multiplier, presented in David A. Moss's book, A Concise Guide to Macroeconomics. The money multiplier is when one has some M1 money, and that's cash and checking accounts, and this is deposited in a savings account, which in turn must the bank must keep 10% in reserve and can lend out the rest. Moss suggested if all the money lent out was in turn deposited into bank accounts, that the increase in the money supply would be tenfold, albeit he immediately interjects to say that in most cases the money multiplier is much less but it's not specific so I have considered it to be between three and four. If we can't use res as presented then if efficiency is 100% we should be able to create a money multiplier of 10 or in early years if efficiency is 85 we could create a money multiplier of about eight.